Hello designers, how's it going? I hope you're having a fantastic day so far. Welcome back to my channel. Today's video is very interesting. The most requested video ever on my Instagram and that is Notion for interior designers. A lot of people are requesting this video because I always show you guys the snippets of how I plan my week and a lot of it involves Notion. I used to use Trello and a lot of other softwares. I still use Google Calendar. I think I'll be using it for the rest of my life. But Notion is what contains all of my life for me. I create content I take freelance projects so there's a lot of things going on in this digital space helps me stay organized and helps me keep on top of my game as an interior designer and as a freelancer as a human being with ADHD so right now I'm going to take you through a template that I curated for you and I'm going to show you how to do everything on Notion Notion is all about exploring your options like there's a lot of different options on Notion you can add pictures you can add files you can embed even Google Maps onto it so it's pretty versatile and you can even add your to do list on it you can sync up things add your timeline so without further ado let's take you into notion and show you how to do everything this is my dashboard i always suggest that whenever you open notion erase everything that's there if there is a template I, I know that it comes with a template it's a free software and you can look at the templates if you like to use them but i just find it a lot of hassle to erase everything of the templates and then to re-add your own things and i also like to create my own look so i call it my other brain because anything i can't remember you'll find it here and i even have my important papers like my passport copies, Ali's passport copies, IDs, anything that I might need in my life is there. But also I have some widgets that I'll show you how to add on later on. Also I have like a little gallery on top that are current priorities. So like so things like gratitude, ADHD brain. Before we keep going into this video, timestamps are below. I know it's gonna be long and God bless my editor, Sama Matar. I'll leave her Instagram account right here because uh, I know she's gonna suffer a lot through editing this video so thank you so much Sema for doing this and now let's like show you around how to use it as interior designers and how you can like, pretty much learn the software or this incredible plugin this little disclaimer Notion is not sponsoring this video and I'm sure you find a lot of values also you can download my templates down below uh, they're paid but you can you can find them down below if you don't want to go through the hassle or recreate everything yourself yeah let's get to it so as an interior designer, I have a template for my interior design business that is basically an interior design business and database. You can find like there's a business management tab, week overview, month overview, pricing structure, bookkeeping, and then like a, a bunch of aesthetic pictures that are like current trends that I'm into and then there's like the clients profiles individual profiles and projects profiles basically so you might be like very intimidated in the beginning because the minute you open notion you find that you are adding a lot of pages and you don't know how to do it so basically let's add a page and quickly talk about how we can utilize notion or how can we can use the notion it's like a quick tutorial once you open a new page by clicking the plus sign here you'll find a place for your title and then you'll find a bunch of options you can even browse their templates feel free to browse them there's a bunch of them and uh, I always start with an empty page I don't care for like the emoji I think the emoji is a good tool to find your pages because they're going to compile very quickly so choose an emoji that represents this page and name your page for whatever thing that you want to create it for and then of course you can add the cover it can be anything that you want usually it just looks loads with the default you can change it into a color or a link you can link even moving pictures you can link gifs or gifs or you can upload your own picture or create one from unsplash but let's say that we want to continue with whatever is giving to us here the first thing that you need to know about notion is the only way to learn it is to experiment with it i have been like struggling with it until like, yesterday i sat down and like experimented with all of the features so i can simplify them for you so what you'll find first of all is this little type a slash for commands so if you type a slash you'll find 
you're able to place your text and you're able to open a new page which is works as a folder every page on notion works as its entire folder which means that if you want to dive into a topic or hyper fixate you have the chance to do that and then you have a to-do list which gives you boxes that you can fill for your different to-dos but i always like to start with a heading so whatever heading that you have or whatever title that you want or subtitle you can create and you can click on these six dots on the left of the word the minute you click on them you'll find that you can duplicate so you don't have to create something over and over again you can turn it into a page a call out a quote every single command does something new for you so i always like to color my titles because it makes them stand out and highlights whatever i need to do and then you can duplicate this title to create other titles now sometimes we want to divide our page into different columns so what you can do is literally just drag it and place it wherever you want so now you've got two uh, columns if we want to duplicate it even further we can make three columns and so on and so forth and with that you can create like a to-do list for each one hello hi whatever you want and check it whenever you're done for the rest of them of course you can add uh, the another to-do list under this title by dragging it again or you can experiment with other things like a toggle list which is so cool if you want to have a list but again, you want to create uh, like a hidden list, basically a toggle list is what it is. So you can have things that you don't want to see all the time, but things that you have to do, you can have them under a toggle list. So yeah, that's how you experiment with those different commands. And also if you try out like the bullet list, it's also another option, especially when I'm in a meeting, I like to take notes with a bulleted list. By the way, everything syncs onto your phone and iPad and any device with the same account of Notion will sync up which makes it so convenient with meetings so you have a number list as well you have a quote so it gives you like a little line on hello for example if you want to create a quote and then there's also a divider which makes makes it easier for you to differentiate between the different lists and then we have a link to page in case you want to link to another page because there's a lot of things that you can do or a call out which means that you can have some tips and tricks or whatever that you want to pay attention to in the middle of the page now we will see the other uh, options which is basically you can add a date or a reminder which is a great way if you want to keep on top of your tasks in case you want to do something on a specific date it won't sync up to the calendar which is a little frustrating but also it's its own entity mention a person if they have a notion page date or an emoji you can add an emoji inline equation and so on and so forth my favorite thing about this whole app is the table in line i like this feature so much i like how you can have a table on notion because it's very adjustable so whatever you might need this will replace excel for you it replaced excel for me completely and within the same table if you add whatever item in the table you can open it up and it will be its own page so it will have its properties and it will have you know anything that you want to type here you can still do that so it's great for organizing things to its very you know basic element and then the more properties you add also can help you with your clients you can also adjust the property into different elements for example a checkbox or if you want to have a url an email or a multi-select which is something i use a lot as well so you can have different properties so urgent for example or uh, delegated or whatever that that might be so different characteristics and properties you can adjust those properties and you can add a view so your table can turn into a board if you want to see it as a board and you can dif create different groups and drag and drop this like a Trello board. I talked about Trello before, but I, this replaced Trello for me, obviously, because I, my life is on it. It can also become a calendar if you have a date on the item. So if you have one of your properties as a date, it will be added to a calendar. Can you even create a list? or a gallery which is something that i really love and i enjoy so for example if i create it into a gallery by the way you can return to any view by just clicking on this little box here so for example if i want to add a picture our job is very visual as interior designers so sometimes you need to reference a picture or something very quickly so you can literally just 
copy image and go back to Notion and then you can just paste it and it will show as the cover of the gallery view so this is something that i really enjoy i really enjoy when i'm working with different projects uh, it's great to keep track of what the client wants and inspiration and things like that again the only way to find out every single feature is to experiment with those features i'll show you the potential and how i use it if i go to my database by the way everything within this profile will be uploaded on my website i always have my ideal client profile this is with Lovelina. I love her videos by the way but let's delete the picture because I was just trying I filmed this video for five times you guys I am really I'm really tired of talking about the same thing but uh, I've created a table as I talked about before and then this is something that every single designer needs to do to have an ideal client profile because then you can market with knowing who you're talking to and who do you want to be in your project and also I have a very 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 in detail project reference tab which took me a lot of time to make and this is why like I uploaded it as a template because I think that it covers my bases for projects so for my to-do list tab I have urgent important and later and then extras this is for the to-do list tab so I, I use the toggle list plus the to-do list and now if I want to check something for later and I don't want it to disturb my priority setting then I can uh, hide it and see it whenever I want and then I have uh, the paperwork which is has like a detailed onboarding process with Google Maps integrated as well so you can see that what kind of permits do you need for example one of my projects I was in Burj Khalifa and I didn't get the project by the way but it was interesting for me to see how much you need to enter Burj Khalifa you need a pen from the owner of the apartment for example so you can upload the file and keep it as a digital format so anytime you feel like you need to go back and show it you can and of course I have also the questionnaire and a welcome kit and I embedded here a web page. So uh, I also upload all of my project files, any pictures that I have of the site, of the rooms, and anything that the client might have sent, any measurements I might have taken, I just upload a file onto it. And then I have the project timeline, which is again, it's very great because if you have multiple projects, you can see how they overlap and you can kind of understand how visually everything works according to your schedule and of course every single part of that timeline you can open it and create its own page also i have an overview because i like monthly overview and also because i have adhd my observation of time is very limited so i have to kind of remind myself of things all the time so that's why it's a great idea for me to create a lot of reminders i guess also, I have the design process as a checklist and as a table, and then I have any comments that I might need. So for example, I have a discovery call, initial consultation, paperwork, everything that I might need, I just open it and I add any notes. So for example, for discovery call, I can do a bullet list, a to-do list or something like that, or minutes of meeting or things like that. So I also like to add files. So for example, paperwork, if I want to upload it again, I can. I don't have to, but because I've already uploaded it. The gallery view is one of our best assets as interior designer, because then even if you save on Pinterest, sometimes I feel like you tend to lose the pictures. So this is a better way to save them. So for example, the client sent you a picture, what you can do is upload it to one of the pages in within the gallery view and then you can add likes and dislikes like this one that I have here and as you can see they're like characteristics that you can add up like this is how decoding the taste of the client works like so for example they didn't like the curtain length in this picture but they liked everything else they like the materials so you can kind of understand what to include in your design also like for every single material I add like anything that they talk about I add a picture of it or if they have Pinterest pictures that I want questions off, I can add it here. And then I add my development, design development stage. So any kind of <laughs> bubble diagrams, any type of sketches that I do, like different options for the floor plan, I add it here because it's really great to keep a record of everything that you do because you can also include it in your portfolio, even if it doesn't look pretty, but it's good to know how everything works like. And then I have the bookkeeping, which is just 
adding any invoices that they paid or I paid or any receipts for furniture for accessories very important stuff you guys and then I have the project budget which is a table that I created and as you can see you can also create a sum so this is why I no longer use Excel because now I can literally sum the everything or have an average or maiden of course you can experiment with those this is a very quick tutorial I feel we can go in depth for so long and uh, for example you can have all of the items that you need and then you can prioritize the essentials versus splurging and create a checklist so these are some possibilities that you can create on notion finally we have the orders so let's say you ordered this beautiful resin terrazzo as an example for one of the projects you can create a website reference the price on how much you spent for it and then again you can have like the company contact status if you ordered it or not or it's in progress or if it's out of stock whatever you might need you can add it here as a multi-select so that would be like a great to understand what the status of things are and then finally if there's any quotations receipts that you want to add you can just upload this file that contains that arrival date great for coordinating different materials when they're going to come on site or what type of action do you need to take before that if there is any kind of action so preparation is key also there's a quantity ordered so this is what i do again it's totally depends on you but for each project this is a document that's a must for me and it helps me stay organized it helps me stay focused and i create as many as i want i keep one as like a template and then i duplicate it whenever i need i change the thumbnail for each client or the emoji which keeps it you know fun and also to identify what i can do differently also i can go with different colors for different clients i mean it gets you in the mood last thing that i want to talk about in this video is any widgets so you might have noticed the little clock here again i need a lot of reminders of times and this widget of google calendar are you kidding me i'm so happy about this i can't tell you how happy i am i also have the weather widget so this is the website that i got it from it's called indify i'll leave it in the description down below and there's different uh, widgets that you can add you can customize it and then you can literally you can copy the link like that and then go back and then just you can just paste it and then you can create an embed so once you create it it, it will uh, show you where it is and how it looks like and then you can adjust it to your liking whatever height and width that you like so yeah you might want to browse the, this extension also if you work on google chrome like i do there's also a safe to notion so for example if i want to not lose track of whatever page that I'm looking for so I can just click on notion and save it to any of my boards if you want further explanation about notion if you have any questions pop them down below and uh, of course you can get the template if you don't want to go into the hassle of creating everything and just fill everything in because I left it empty for you but I have the process and business module on it and before I leave you guys I want to tell you that we have a lot of exciting life courses such as Photoshop for interior designers sketchup for interior designers we have digital sketching for interior designers we have brevet for interior designers autocad so if you're self-learning interior design log on to my website and subscribe you do not want to miss any of those courses and they're all in beta shape so beta prices which means that get them while they're hot <laughs> thank you so much for watching i love you guys to the moon and back and just i really appreciate you have a great time of the day wherever you are in the world goodbye <laughs>